Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Hey, kid. Remember me? <laughs> no, I'm just checking up on you. I'm not really here to lecture you or anything like that. You're not really late on uh, anything. <laughs> I know, I'm just messing with you. You don't have anything to work on now. You're a pro hero. So, what have you been up to? Oh, that's good. I'm glad you're getting some actual missions in. I guess my teachings have actually put something in that brain of yours. Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know, life could be a bit better, but I'm alive. That's all that matters. Yeah, I'm still getting used to it, but eventually, I'll get used to it. Enough about me, though. How's your hero's stuff doing? Well, I want to know, because, well, I've been out of commission for quite a while, still recovering and whatnot. But I've gathered enough strength to actually walk around now, and the first thing I wanted to do was see one of my students step I've helped with, uh, becoming a hero. You know I'm not the type of person to be wasting potential on people. Especially when I see it. When it's clear as day. You have clearer potential, and, and now it shows. I'm proud of you. You turned out to be a great hero. And, hopefully, once you get older and your rank goes up, you'll be number one in no time. Surpassing me and everyone else in your way. <laughs> of course. So, what kind of missions have you been going on? I heard all about it. It's spy mission, huh? For your first mission, it was a spy mission? Hmm. Who sent you on that mission, if you don't mind me asking? I should have known that bird brain would have set you up for something. Huh? Oh, nothing. But besides the spy hero work, what else have you been doing? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you're actually getting some field work in. Usually, field work doesn't even begin to start until you do your proper training as a pro hero. But you just kind of jumped right into it. And I understand why. You know, the whole uh, prison outbreaks and whatnot... I completely understand why you were just thrown into the action like that. But luckily, you had some good trainers. Speaking of, how's Hawks and Endeavor? Well, I'm glad they're doing better for themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah... I've heard about it. We'll get him back into custody. Don't worry about that. For now, you just need to work on your own self and whatever you're hired for. <laughs> I 
Oh, you have a mission lined up for you already. Hmm. Can you tell me about it? Fair enough. Oh, you need a team for this mission. Interesting. Well, I mean, do you all already have your team set up, or are you still trying to find people? Oh, okay. So you only have Bakugo on your side as of right now. Are you sure you can handle him on your team? He's not very much of a team player. All right. If you say so. Really? Switching agencies, huh? This early into your hero work? Well, usually when someone is assigned to a... Uh, agency, especially like a Devers agency, they don't really just sign off instantaneously like that. Especially off an of Endeavor's agency. That's one of the best agencies there is. Why do you decide to come off of his agency? And actually, more importantly, whose agency are you going to? Fat gum. Hmm. Oh, nothing. I just didn't think you wanted to be in that agency. Although, the food there is quite amazing. But besides that, all the heroes there and whatnot are... Well, now that I think about it, the heroes in that agency are more of your class anyway. No offense, but you are just a starting out hero. Your rank is lower than usual. Not usual. Your rank is lower than most of the heroes that were in Endeavor's agency. So moving over to an agency that actually has the same amount of heroes that are on your level, it'll be good for you. And who knows, maybe you'll shoot up in those uh, rankings, and then you might go back to Endeavor's agency. Who knows what will happen? Only a matter of time till the future shows us what happens. <laughs> right. Mike is doing okay. He's still sleeping as of right now, recovering. He did a lot of, uh, uh he used a lot of his cork on that day, and he's still recovering from it. So all we need to do is just sit back and let him recover. But the doctor says he should be able to use his regular voice soon. In a matter of like, oh, I can't remember what he said, like a week or so? So you'll have your favorite loudmouth teacher back. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, if you want to do some training, you're going to have to talk to your actual trainer. It's unethical for me to be training you if you already have a trainer for you to be training with. So I just advise that you talk to Hawks before you actually want to do some training with me. I don't think he'll mind, but it's just for legal purposes. You understand, right? Right. So, with everything said and done, I just wanted to come out here and say that I'm proud of you. You've done a fine job as being a hero, even if I've just seen it from the TV. <laughs> right, right. Well, I mean, if whenever the day happens, you can always come back to me, and then we can get our training done. Mm-hmm. 
Just let Hawks know, and I'll be waiting. But first, let me rest up a bit before that happens. My muscles are still sore, but everything else is okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, you are something different, kid. Yeah. Alright. I'll see you later. <laughs>